So apparently there is such a thing as overfilling the smeltery. <laughs> yeah, uh, my smeltery is really full of glass. Cause I'm doing the trying to do the clear glass quest, and yeah, it's crazy. This one's nearly done. Eighty-seven percent done. This thing's been working faithfully while I was raiding the Nether. So yeah. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye. And it's done. A few hours later or so. Oh, I wonder what that. Un I'm really scared as to what that could have unlocked. Doesn't seem to unlock anything I can see readily. Okay. Well, let's make a creepy doll. How does that sound, everybody? I'll leave this thing here working. Working hard. Switch over to glass real fast. <laughs> it has kind of a problem with the glass, doesn't it? I wish I could slow it down so it wasn't clicking so fast. I think that's part of the problem. Oh well, I'll just let that thing do its thing. Still bound to blacksmith blocks. No, oh, it's done. Okay. Well, that one's done. Let's do the creepy doll after we sleep. I have to remember, if I sleep every every chance I get, then my bees will produce more propolis, which means I can get more purple stained glass. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, we're up to three triple compressors. Okay, creepy doll. <laughs> Let's focus in here. Let's focus. Okay, we got the clay. Three, four, five. And we put in an emerald, precious doll. Creepy doll. Okay, not that. Yeah, creepy doll. Give me, yeah, that one. Ink sacks, two, two, three, four. Nether wart. Of course, redstone, our old friend. Oh well, we've got enough. We might be able to finish that pyrothium quest. Pyrothium, creepy doll. That should. All quests completed. Oh, and we get to pick one of these. Oh. I don't really think any of these are actually. All that? Wait, hold on a second. This one. Oh, okay. So I got a quarter of a heart, a blaze rod, and an ender pearl. Eh, whatever. Let's see, an epic and a greater. Epic. Ooh, Essentia. That's really useful. Not immediately, but it will be really useful. Now for the greater bag. Orange saplings. Okay, oh, that's okay. Um, creepy doll. I could go summon an enderman and catch him, I guess, but I don't really need a lot of ender pearls right now. I have so many ender pearls, I actually upgraded my reactor. My reactor now use resonant ender. Resonant ender actually cools better, so it's slightly more efficient. So this is done. Perfect. Okay. Do we do bees and trees? What's next? Oh yeah, I still have to get the uh Oh yeah, I was pretty close to that actually. Okay, I'll show you guys that. Yeah. Just doing some bee stuff. Cultivated Wait, what happened to my What What? I'm pretty sure I had a noble. Didn't I have a noble? Oh yeah, that's right, okay. Wow, that freaked me out for a second. 
<laughs> I left it. Or I thought I left it in here. Um, well, this is a little awkward. I seem to have misplaced my noble. Person. I could have sworn I had one. Did I by chance put automate them? Let's check oh, I don't have my let me put on my apiarist uniform. Because otherwise I'm gonna get poisoned like nothing else. Okay. Let's see if we're avoiding the poison, this thing is well worth it. Doesn't protect much against the lightning bolts, but eh. It's not so bad. Okay. Jungle, no fla oh, they lost their flowers. Okay, no n oh, the energetic bees are working, but all the noble bees have stopped because they don't have any flowers. Um what's that? A spider? Whoa, far out, dude. I don't think thorn, thorn vines will work. Where on earth? I was so sure I had a noble, a noble, noble drone already. Am I losing my mind? That's a possibility. We were right here in the Mutatron. I'm almost totally certain of it. Mutatron like automatically throw people out. Oh, I wonder if did I have a backpack on by chance? Urgh, this is a little frustrating. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Well... Shoot. I wonder if I used someone with ignoble stock or something else funky happened. Okay, let's load up. Let's get some labware. Princess. Come in here. Oh yeah, this one is using a lot of mutations. Um, let's see if we can get that cultivated sample. Okay, now we have the common princess. Oh, and I just used up my extra cultivated drone, didn't I? Fertility 2. Not useful. Wipe it. Okay, well, that's a little frustrating. Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Ah, Andrew Ricky Butemus here. Mm -hmm. More brilliant skies. I built this thing here. It's called Breeder. This is what it can do. It takes wheat mm -hmm. and power, and I don't know if you can hear me all the sound of these guys, mm -hmm. but it'll take wheat and power and it will automatically mm -hmm. breed. That's right. Mm -hmm. It'll automatically breed the animals for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, and it looks like it's going crazy. Oh wow. Okay. It, it bred all of those animals at once. Okay. Now, if 
you remember. Or maybe you do, maybe you don't. Oh. That's interesting. Where's he? Oh, hi there, buddy. Eh, I'll just get rid of the block. <laughs> That's one way to handle it, I guess. Okay. A long time ago, I think I put in this infrastructure in place to power a chronotyper. This is the power conduit for the chronotyper. That's the power conduit for the slaughterhouse. I'm gonna hook him up. Hey, Wow, this thing is. I probably could do this a lot more efficiency somehow. There we go. Oh, crap. How did I just blow up? <laughs> oh, good golly. Blew something up. Dang it. Uh, not an item. I thought it was an item duct. Oh, okay. Or a fluid duct. Maybe that's why I couldn't find it. I was looking for the wrong thing. Yep. Fluid duct. Okay. Let's go back and fix the sewer system. So I'm pretty sure it was a sewer. Yeah. Okay. Now. Let's head back up and see what's going on up there. effect of the chronotyper is it moves all the babies over. As you can see, we've got some baby sheeps, baby cows, and they are producing more sewage. Okay, cool. The next, could be bad. The uh, next item is here, the slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse mostly just gonna hang out here and um, hold on a second. The slaughterhouse is going to, when these guys grow up, it's going to actually kill them. So we're going to need some way to gather the, um, the results, because it produces a substance called liquid meat, and occasionally a substance called liquid slime. Okay, so it connects power to the bottom. Do I have fluid ducts on me? I do, okay. Oh. Did he actually get through? Where'd he go? Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's kind of cute. Yeah, he would have hopped on over and the chronotyper would have grabbed him all once again. Oh, I do have a little railing there. Okay. Kind of. Okay. So I need to figure out how to hook up. How cute. Why, why are you looking at me? And see, as soon as they hop in there, they're just gonna get pulled right back out. Do you think, Chronotyper? Boop. See? <laughs> nice thing is it will automatically grab the animals. Okay, let's see. Once again, back to figuring out how to wire up this thing. Probably take me a while to figure that much out, but I better do it pretty well. I guess it's not like super duper urgent. But anyways, I just wanted to show that off, that I am making progress. The auto glass maker and the auto iceberg maker, ice maker thing are still going for those quests. Oops. Crap, I could have just messed things up really badly there. 
Okay, never mind. It's even fine. Okay. Yeah. You're still doing good. Still got fuel. Probably need to put in a turbine or something to enhance the power output. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The witch spawner. Do I ever feel the need to have more witches? I'm thinking... Oh, could I connect them? Okay, we've got all sorts of weird stuff going on here. Okay. Um. Let's take the power conduit straight down. And straight over. Okay. done? What have I done? Oh goodness, the containment breach. Hmm. Well, I got it all hooked up at least, right? Resourceful, aren't they? I wonder if I put. Maybe I should put the fluid duct here. Okay. Okay. Then again, to move all those little babies back up top, I'm not going to show that, because that probably would be a little on the boring side. I have to make sure I have an empty, um, safari net. If I can find my safari net, I really need to clean this up a bit. There we go, safari net. Reminds me I should go capture a wisp for one. I start doing magically stuff, I'm going to really want that. Anyways, as always, this is Andrea K. B. Unimus. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Maybe ideas of what I can do next. Oh, good, 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 goodness. <laughs> this is the madness. This is the madness. This is what it's become, come down to. Probably gonna spleef you all, aren't I? Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, one last update. Based on the, you remember the slaughterhouse, right? Well, it's produced meat and pink slime. That's the two things it produces. Meat, we can actually, like, pack it into, um, pack it and make, what am I trying to say? And make, like, little meat ingots and stuff. That's kind of mm. gross. And pink slime we need for the, um, we need to make the laser precharger, which we need for one of the quests. We actually also need the meat for one of the quests. I think it's one of the go with the flow quests. I think it's the sheep that are growing up faster. Wow, that's a lot of animals there. It looks like the uh, chickens aren't being affected. Let's see if they require seeds. They might just require seeds. Yep.
Yep, okay. They must have changed it. In some versions it used to be that, um... Oh my goodness, look at all that. Look at all those babies. Wow. Chickens, sheep, cows. Wow. Do you really have that many animals in there? This has got to be a serious health code violation. <laughs> well, I guess it explains all the uh, sewage we're processing. Goodness me. Oh wow, we almost have enough for a bucket of meat. For the uh, meat quest. I guess it's probably much like the other quests. We fill up one bucket and then it has another one for us. Uh, I really should get started on some of these other ones. I can't do this one. I could do this one and this one. This one requires a lot of meat. Um, there's also a lot of these that basically will require a lot of meat. Soup toast, that requires beef. This requires... also requires beef and mushrooms. Um, I'm pretty close to that one actually. This one requires a lot of fish. I'll have to make an auto fisher. Do that one. Yeah, lots to do. Lots to do. And I guess if I make any food that I don't need, I can do stuff with it. Like, throw it into the... Oh, I guess I can. Why won't you let me... I'll let it sit in there for... I'll let it think a bit. It'll sit there and think about what it's done. <laughs> Um, probably speed up that process by making more precipitators, but you know what? I don't really want to. Because I have other things I want to be doing. I have other things that are occupying my time. Hmm. Like making toast, or making huge amounts of sand. For the clear glass quest. I have to decide. I have to start focusing a little better. So I'm like doing the clear glass quest. There's the compressed sand quest. You see this thing has gotten ridiculously tall. I could even make it taller. I have... Where's all the seared bricks? I have an excess of seared bricks that I made. <laughs> that I could very easily just use to make that thing gigantic. Oh yeah, this one. This one. It gives green heart canisters. I think, do any of these give green heart canisters? I thought some of them did. Oh, table. So you think you might be a witch? What? Uh, mob war? Oh, this is just a. This is just for um bragging rights, but it doesn't look too hard. Kill a hundred hostile mobs. Yep, not so bad. Ooh, crank tiny TNT. <laughs> I might not ever get this one. Cause a lot of these things are things I probably wouldn't ever make without, you know, like remembering to or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, these I almost have. I just need four more. The end of the flow for the hoarding. So did they change up how? I think they kind of did change up how the. This is all gonna work. It's like if I want to do magic, but I I'm not gonna really care about magic at the moment. Oh, because it's... I don't know. It's not a pain. It's just gonna take... It just takes a while to get to get these things done. It takes a lot of research, which is kind of boring to put on camera. And the like. So, anyways. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe when I have something a little more interesting to show off. Like... Meat buckets. Oh, you can use it in the biogas engine. Or we can turn in this quest.
Turn in 16. The diabolical mage dust collects his meat soft, very soft, liquid even. He doesn't care where the meat is from as long as it is drinkable. To help him, to help him the Lord of Hell has created a machine which enables you to make liquid meat possible. Ooh. Ooh, water hives. I might just get the water hives because the uh, hives are really hard to come by. Okay. Well, that's not going to be hard. Just I'm going to make another QDS. And then I can turn that one in. And we can profit. Of course, it all comes down to the profit, right? Oh, I do have a spawn pig. Oh, and I do have two pigs in there. I guess the issue is I don't have any carrots, really. Anyways. <laughs> I will talk to you guys next time. You guys have a good one. Bye.